Hi, I just bought this uh, Up Plus 2 3D printer and uh, I wanted to do this little video to, to talk about it. Um, I first encountered this, uh, this printer reading about it on forums. Um, a lot of people seem to uh, feel that it is uh, quite reliable. So I went down to the dealer and uh, had a bit of a demo and I was very impressed by um, the quality of the print and the speed and well and it was pretty uh, uh, reliable um, so so I bought it and uh, uh, this is uh, pretty much my second or third print in and uh, I'm I'm really happy with it it's um, made by this company called tier time in China and uh, but you know, you expect something made in China to be pretty cheap, but this is actually uh, um, quite expensive for printer. Uh, it's got a pretty small um, print envelope, 140, 140 by 135, uh, and it's pretty expensive for the print envelope size, but it makes up for it for being a really reliable ABS printer. This is, uh, this is printing in ABS, and so far, you know, it's not given me any problems at all. I've, I've printed like six pieces uh, of this size. Um, yeah, so, so, so pretty impressive so far. I mean, even compared to some of the uh, bigger manufacturers when it comes to printing ABS. One of the things that, uh, which is also surprising is that this is actually, um, you know, exposed, it's not, in a heated chamber or, or you know uh, blocked in the wind and it's, it seems to be printing the ABS uh, quite fine um, the, the platform is heated it comes with this uh, kind of uh, perforated uh, prototyping board uh, for, a, for a print surface so you don't have to do you know all that Kaplan tape all that the uh, hairspray stuff um, the ABS goes into the little holes you see a little bits of uh, ABS in that in, in the holes in the perforated board yeah I had had this uh, little problem with uh, a burn mark on my print uh, my first print didn't have it at all uh, but yeah it seems to be occurring on some of the prints so yeah uh, this is probably not the safest way to, to take it off uh, but yeah I just did this for the video um, it comes with the uh, the scraper and, and it comes off the perforated board quite easily as you can you can see from the video so so that's it that's pretty effortless you see that some of the ABS gets still stuck on the on the perforated board uh, which uh, well according to the guy is not a big problem I'm just going to show you how fast uh, the rough comes off the uh, how easily the rough comes off the the print. Look look at that. I mean, this is like the easiest uh, uh, removal of rough of any you know PLA or, or ABS on any printer I've ever encountered so far. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, all that is support. The support, even though you know it's kind of independent on, on a little bit of a tower seems to be uh, working well the support comes off really really easily i'm very happy with that just going to speed that up so all in all i mean this was uh, 33 minutes of a print and uh, less than five minutes to clean up um it's not it's not exactly a small print either you know it's just, uh, this is uh, quite a fair size i had it with a 25 percent fill um, one problem with the um, with the up plus two printer is that the the software is uh, closed off, so I can't actually determine the wall thickness like you can with a rip wrap. But yeah, you look at look at how easily that that that, that support that raft is coming off uh, my print. That's I'm very happy with that. And I'm, yeah, so far I'm very happy with the printer, no problems at all. I've been printing it for a couple of uh, hours. Uh, yeah, just slicing off a little bit of the burn marks. The uh, small holes and stuff coming out, pretty pretty round. Uh, 
no no you know no complaints at all compared to similarly priced uh, 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 FDM printers yeah very very happy with this I hope you like this video and thanks for watching